Next, we'd like to invite Mr. Viktor Glushkov, Development Director at the Development Center of Social Innovations. He's going to share with us the impact of social innovations and social investments on the development of rehabilitation industry, accessible ICTs, and assistive technologies in Russia. 紧接着，我们邀请到的是俄罗斯社会创新发展中心的开发总监 Viktor Glushkov 先生。他要跟我们分享的是社会创新及社会投资对俄罗斯复兴产业、无障碍 ICT 及辅助技术发展的影响。我们掌声欢迎 Glushkov 总监。Welcome. Thank you, thank you, Master of Con Conference, for uh, nice, kind introduction. And um, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Um, why I was a bit um, uh, not so um, um, why I'm so sleepy because it's uh, six o'clock in the morning in Moscow. So it's um, uh, it's a time difference. So please forgive me for this. Uh, I would like, first of all, to thank organizers for this uh, great opportunity to speak at Ideas Show. And uh, I also, I would like to thank the uh, Ministry of uh, Mass Media and Communica Communication from, of Russian Federation, who runs um, uh, Telecommunications and Information Working Group at EPIC. And, um, um, uh, for I was granted for around 20, 30 minutes for to speak about the social innovations uh, and how they boost the development of the whole industry, which is a new industry in uh, uh, Russian Federation. And um, um, first of all, I want to start with uh, uh, with one uh, slide for you just to understand what's uh, in what circumstances we're working so um, russia is the biggest country by territory we have 10 time zones and it's um, when it's uh, uh, in kaliningrad for example uh, the breakfast time in petropavlovsk kamchatsky they are finishing their dinners so um, also it, uh, the, our population is uh, 146 and 5.5 uh, million people, and the, the, what is more important is the density of population is just eight people per square kilometer. And what's probably new for you, it's uh, uh, Tetris was invented in Russia. Um, according to the uh, Organization on, for Economic Cooperation and Development, and according to their research they've made in two, 2012, 53.5% um, of uh, Russian population aged between 25 and 64 have higher diploma, uh, have diploma of higher education. And the majority of, of, of them is in technical pro professions. So, um, the nearest is Canada, which is 52%, then it goes uh, Israel with um, uh, 46%, and uh, USA is 40, 43%. So there are a lot of potential to invent. And now I would just want to show you a short video of how Russians sometimes use this potential for uh, invention. So using excavator for O-ring, it's a quite an, an unusual thing. So recently in uh, St. Petersburg uh, Economic, World Economic, International Economic Forum, uh, there was a panel discussion on, on, this, on this issue, and professor from MIT, Robert Graham, pointed out several um, uh, facts, uh, which, which I also want to share with you. First of all, he said that Russians are really great uh, in making inventions. You can see there is a list of, um, uh, of inventions, for example, 
um, Yablochkov in, uh, introduced in, invented basically a directly clump, but uh, Thomas Edison introduced it to the public. And um, uh, for example, Sergei Lebedev has um, uh, uh, invented the first computer, but there, is a, there are no Russian computer companies Produ computer producers, world, world leaders of in, in this area are not Russians, are uh, Japanese, Americans, uh, Chinese, Korean, uh, other, uh, other companies. The point is for, uh, that um, uh, Mr. Graham said is that invention is not uh, is much bigger than the uh, in innovation is much bigger than the invention that uh, inventors just uh, create things but innovators they make them successfully and commercially successful not not only for the inventors but also for the public and uh, the, we uh, basically uh, uh, Asked this question of uh, what uh, what can can we do with it, with the scope of the inventions in in Russia, and uh, in 2013 we as a group of um, of uh, specialists in social entrepreneurship development we created a small program uh, which consisted of uh, training on social entrepreneurship literacy. And uh, also, we had the support from our colleagues in this sphere, and we um, uh, got a small seed funding from one uh, CSR budget of the uh, commercial bank. So we went to the to the um, uh, universities and uh, and and, uh, and uh, uh, saw a big demand from the students uh, who has a lot of their uh, social initiatives, and they wanted to. Uh, make them happen. So uh, very quickly, we, are, we realized that um, uh, the majority of these initiatives are related to the uh, uh, assistance and support of the disi disabled people, and um, uh, and we started exploring what's what's going on in this field in Russia and uh, in the world. And uh, uh, wh uh, what we uh, f uh, what we found uh, uh, that um, not much at those time. We um, it, it was pretty sad because there are plenty inventions, but uh, nothing nothing has 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 been done. Uh, so we. Uh, tried to, uh, and well, m moreover, we didn't find uh, um, any organization or any initiative that, can, that wanted to change this situation. Another uh, interesting fact that we dis uh, detected is um, that 94% of the um, products that disabled people uh, used uh, was imported to Russia. And uh, this is a really huge market opportunities. So uh, that's why we created a center for uh, social initiative development and called Enabling Technologies, which I represent. And our goal was to uh, support um, those innovators to consolidate efforts uh, of the key players and, and develop the rehabilitation industry, um, assistive technologies, and support uh, uh, social innovators. Uh, we, um, uh, we support uh, the, um, uh, people who produce goods for disabled people. We support um, uh, uh, those projects that, that um, uh, create jobs and a, a projects where team leader is a disabled person. Our slogan is that we help you, you help millions. And of course we use the social um, innovations um, through our, um, uh, th as an instrument, and main, the main uh, innovators are uh, our startups whom we support. But uh, we also internally support, uh, was try to, to, uh, to make innovations uh, uh, as well. For example, 
uh, we um, re we uh, to, uh, we consider NGO as a sort of a business. Uh, it's basically uh, different types of generation money. It's, uh, in comparison to traditional business, uh, uh, where uh, companies just sell products or goods, uh, NGOs basically fundraise money or attract money from, from the public uh, to, to the, for their activities. But uh, one of, uh, but as for the management and uh, operational uh, tools, NGO adopt a lot from, from business things. One of the things that we introduced is the, uh, each hour project has an individual creator. And the creator is the person who helps uh, the, the, the startup to, uh, to uh, develop their project. Uh, this, is for, this is coming from the venture capitalists. So venture capitalists always hire managers who push, um, remind, and monitor how it's, it's going on with startup. In our case, we are not, uh, uh, the creator is, is, is more like babysitters to zero for, for, the, for the project because they um, know the project well, they know the demand, they know the, the problems, and they try to do their best in order to help this project uh, to develop. Um, the center also provides uh, financial support, trainings, uh, master classes, uh, uh, and uh, what, what uh, the most important in our work is that um, is, the, is the networking. Uh, many modern entrepreneurs t say that um, one of the skills that you need to have uh, uh, that, uh, to be successful in business is networking. And we, do, we understand that uh, projects and startups has, uh, need time to build uh, their own uh, networks. That's why we created our network and we uh, get, give access to it um, uh, for startups. And we try to, um, uh, to, to, to have on board all the uh, main stakeholders and all the main uh, organizations in Russia who support startups. Um, as an example, I can give you a uh, project which I like very much. It's uh, called Caterville. And um, uh, um, th by the way, this, uh, this uh, guy uh, and the, the team itself created this prototype of, of this wheelchair in their garage. And um, uh, what's, what's very um, interesting about this project, this project can, can uh, be uh, not only just going on the flat road, but it also can climb the stairs. So when it has a crawler dri driver, so when it comes to the stairs, it can go up and down. In Russia, it's a quite a big problem because not all, not all um, uh, homes uh, has a uh, good equipment for um, wheelchairs, and sometimes people just stuck in their homes for years uh, uh, because they can't get out. And uh, uh, what, what's, uh, what's also imp imp important to mention is that um, this, pro this project ca came to us and asked to, um, uh, to help them with organizing production, uh, production of their wheelchairs. And we managed to convince uh, uh, the Ministry of uh, Tr uh, Industry and Trade of Russian Federation, who uh, helped us uh, to link um, uh, this team with the big factory in their native region, and now they're making their first trial lot. Um, startups basically save a lot of money and uh, uh, time and uh, resources uh, when using our network. And um, uh, that, that's because uh, our staff mainly can uh, identif identify uh, the, prob the, the problems that they have and basically uh, direct the startup concretely to the partner or person they, they will get uh, the, the needed support. Um, 
I often, from, I often hear from the investors that uh, they can't find a good startup to invest in. Um, I I'm, will be very pleased if I'm wrong and it's not about Taiwan. Um, but at the same time, I often hear the problem that uh, the startups couldn't find the investor. And I, again, uh, I hope it's not uh, 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 your case. Uh, but um, uh, it, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's happened because government, NGOs, businesses, and startups, they all speak different languages. So we are, as a staff uh, for in the center, we are like interpreters, and we translate to uh, each party uh, their languages and um, uh, try to um, uh, speed up the development of the industry. One of the, uh, the other examples that I want to share, uh, uh, Yvonne previously spoke, spoke and I saw uh, the word intel uh, artificial intelligence that's uh, very limited. I, I understood it, uh, but um, uh, this is uh, also the the, uh, the the project uh, with the artificial intelligence. It's a and it's an assistant, and it can uh, help. Um, uh, basically, it was created for uh, blind people and deaf-blind people uh, to assist in their basic needs. It can. Um, uh, do many basic things, for example, just um, controlling the home appliances, it can uh, uh, be as alarm clock, it can be, uh, uh, can, can regulate temperature, and etc. So, the, 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 this example is quite interesting because it can be not only applicable uh, for disabled people. There are uh, uh, plenty of other target audiences that can be uh, uh, and, and opportunities for this product to, to be sold. So uh, for that cases, uh, my colleagues created a special brainstorms uh, sessions uh, where they collect a lot of experts and uh, they basically um, upgrade and uh, wrap up this product for, uh, for the other target audiences. So, um, so very often social innovators do not see uh, uh, the market because when they, uh, when they invent something, and uh, especially young engineers, uh, when they say, okay, this is a good thing, this is a social project, and uh, it's good that when I, when I can uh, help somebody with, uh, by doing something. But um, according to the uh, World Health Organization, is uh, that uh, uh, the 15% uh, of population of, of, uh, of the Earth is uh, disa are, are disabled people, and it's nearly one billion people. And despite of the medical uh, uh, care uh, uh, development, uh, the p disabled people population will grow, and that's uh, partially because of the aging of population. Not long ago, uh, Russia ratified the United Nations Convention on Rights for Persons with Disabilities. And there is huge f f scope of work in, in this field, but uh, uh, already, and I mentioned about this project for, m for my colleagues here, the, uh, this is the platform for uh, uh, blind and visually impaired people. Um, uh, F and it's it brings you to the uh, it gives you opportunity to use information technologies. Um, it's very easy uh, uh, to to learn on how to to use this platform, and uh, the product is designed uh, for creating speech enabled appliances with a set of standard tools uh, for easy access to uh, so web services, to mail, news, and uh, etc. 
So, so, so strategically, we we think there are three main mainstreams. It's existing entrepreneurs and the enterprises in this area. It's uh, startups and it's science. Um, for example, with science, uh, we uh, plan to work in in the, uh, in the field of neuro uh, technologies and uh, neuro uh, interfaces. We think it's a very promising sector. And um, uh, together with our fund, who uh, and especially we'll, we'll, we'll work on, on the f in the field of deaf-blind people, uh, together with our fund, uh, with our partner fund Connection, uh, and uh, with this fund we have already um, uh, made uh, a lot of uh, uh, good good work and tracks on uh, the projects on deaf, blind, and also for. Um, uh, we created a great uh, research on um, deaf blindness. Now we have the biggest database on publications and uh, uh, specialists in the world. And now we are looking forward for having um, uh, multinational companies on board to, uh, to in order to to do a projects on um, uh, on uh, in on the that will serve interests of deaf blind people. So, the, in conclusion, uh, I just want to know that, uh, first of all, uh, the, um, for only for three years, we've been, we've been able to decrease the number of, uh, uh, the percentage of uh, imported goods from uh, abroad that people, that disabled people use. Secondly, it's public awareness, and it um, uh, was increased, and uh, uh, thousands of um, uh, solutions, new solutions from hundreds of young engineers arise. Thirdly, the government created a very conducive environment uh, for d designing technologies. Thirdly, uh, fourthly, it's um, uh, uh, key players uh, working together. Uh, fifth thing is that uh, our uh, startups, and uh, we consider startups as uh, uh, just uh, from the from the scratch or just very very beginning uh, stages. They invested. Uh, they they got inve uh, social investments in the amount of four million dollars, uh, which is uh, is amazing thing. And uh, the most important uh, thing is that um, we gave the opportunity for disabled people to receive technologies that help them do things they couldn't do previously. And sometimes this is a vital solutions that uh, give them opportunity to live a full life. So in final, my final um, sentence will be, um, I would like, um, I would be happy if you will help people who will help millions and billions of others people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Glushkov, for your insights.